Hi, we're at Select 2018 in Munich and I'm here with Christina Jai and Hendrik Voss from Ari. Hi guys, thanks for spending the time to come over to see us. Thank you. Um, now, Ari is a huge company with lots of different parts, so which particular bit are you from? So we're working for the electronic control system at the product management. Yep. And which is what this is, isn't it? A new control system. Yeah, actually this, this little unit is uh, called Operator Control Unit OCU1. Yep. And it's the first year, to, uh, this year, um, and this uh, unit enables operators to take the control from the WC4 and give it back to them. Right. So that's the main feature yeah. of it. Yeah. Which has always been a problem for them, hasn't it? Because like you say, the motor control is always in the way. Yes, of yeah. course. Uh, so um, actually, when we start to develop this tool, um, we were talking to a lot of DOPs, operators out there, and they say they want to have the control back like in old days. They mean, right. for example, yeah. uh, if you do a framing. Yeah. Uh, set up a new shot, then usually they have to wait until uh, the, the first DC is back with the hand unit to do the framing because you want to yeah. change some focus or yeah. um, lens um, okay. errors. So, um, so, how does it work? so actually we have the user buttons and we assign the user buttons to a different kind of function. So yeah. the first user button is it's the toggle between focus and iris. Then the second one is the OVR, the override function, and the third one is uh, a user button from the camera. But of course, you can assign it whatever you like okay. to do it. So let's say uh, you want to change the focus. So you, uh, we assign it before to focus. So um, the operator is now, let's say, has the, uh, the focus control, yeah, yeah. and he left the set. I mean, okay, she is a camera assistant, I'm the operator. Right, so yeah. she has control on yeah, her handset, control, yeah. and now she has to do something else. And I want to do the framing, but the image is not in focus. Right. Yeah. Right? So yeah. in this case, I can now take control here, and I have you control now over the lens. Yeah. Yeah. And now you are happy because you're seeing it on the display. So yes. you know that's been taken away. Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, I got the feedback that it's now red. So red means I don't have to control anymore. Yeah. And then that's an important thing that the um, DOP or operator have to give back the control. That's what I'm doing now. I'm pressing that button again. So this now and turns green. green. Yep. And green means, OK, I can go. But now I have to take this little triangle and, and, and sink it to the new point. Because it, you see the motor did not jump. Yeah. So And now to. I have to control back without any oh, jumps. And that's really important because yeah. they set up the new frame with a new focus uh, position yeah. and then otherwise it would jump. We don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we were talking to um, First Disease as well and they say, well, a nice feature, but what happens if the DOP forgets to yes. press the override button again and to yes. return it to the, for, uh, to the WC4? So for that we have a solution as well. So now he has the control and forgets to press it. And then he can press this button over there, it's called Focus Override. So he brings it in sync again uh, yes, and right. press this button too, and now he has the control back. Right. Yes. So that's the new feature yeah. we have. Fantastic. And it works for Focus Iris and Zoom. Right, so yes, yeah. so you can take individual control. Yeah, fantastic. And it's totally integrated with the whole Iris system. Yes, yeah, yeah. so um, in, this, in this setup we have it, of course, with Alexa Mini, WC4, OC1. Yeah. And but the CFOS motors. And the CFOS motors, so there was the challenge to do that. Uh, Everything yeah. is fit in the system. Yeah. But uh, we will come up with a new software update as well for our new CFOS Mini RF motor. We will sell it this year. Um, and with the UMC4 we have already. So with that two tool, with the UMC4 and with the CFOS Mini RF, um, you can use this override function, the OC1, but with other cameras as well. From oh, other, okay, yeah. Yes. Right, yeah. It's fantastic. So, that's, that's, you know, you, you've improved that whole workflow, haven't you, which has is, is, is always been an issue, and it's a solution that comes... It has been work. an issue since lens motors yeah. were there, and it has never been really solved. You know, with the manual follow focus, you could just manually yeah. override, yeah. and since the motors were there, the lens is blocked when the motors are touched, you cannot do anything. Yeah. So this is solving the issue, which has exactly. been there for years. Yeah, yeah. So it's... it's Literally just been launched, hasn't it? Yeah, um, just at IBC this yeah. year, so yeah. last week. Yeah. Has, what's the feedback been like? People? It was great because people yeah. are saying uh, and, and uh, told us, okay, that's something we really wished for years. Yes. Uh, because, of course, as Henry said already, you had to put away the motors now and you have to yeah. put the motors back again, do the calibration, and it really takes time. Yeah. 
and, and everybody who is shooting knows there's no time on a set. And if you imagine that there are a lot of people waiting for you and only if it's if only one minute, yeah. that costs money. Yeah. And so we say that this OCU is really saving money on the set. That's right. And that's it, isn't it? it it's that whole time management thing is key to the whole thing. It's fantastic. So real world solutions to yeah. problems. Exactly. It's, it's serving your, your nerves, you know, because you, it's yeah. also stressing if you cannot yeah. do it that quickly yeah. and it's saving time and money. Um, and, and it's a perfect addition to the WCU4 lens control yeah. system. And they're shipping now, are they? It's so shipping it's, by uh, end yeah. of, of November right. and yeah. it costs around 1,000 euros, 1,170 euros. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on your really hard work. That's, uh, it's great to see it in, actually out there in the real world. I bet. Yeah, actually, thanks to, um, to the Ari colleagues from Vienna because uh, the, the ECS department is set in Vienna. Ah, okay, yes. Yeah. So with all the development and all the assembling, so that's really of the software engineers they are they did a really great job yeah. they that's it it's a huge amount of work isn't it yeah because yeah. they had to do the software updates for the wc4 then for the uh, motors uh for the new device yeah. of course and of course the camera as well yeah so lots to do well it's fantastic um i hope the show is good for you i hope you've got a first Thanks. time show. very I positive yeah. 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 yeah 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 well i hope the rest of it goes well and best of luck Thank you for talking. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks very much. And if you want more information, it's on our website, website www.ari.com. Yeah. Then you search for the OCU1 Operator Control Unit 1. OCU1. Yeah. OCU1. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks. you.